Hey everybody, thanks for popping in. Today we're going to rummage through the card pile and look at eight ungraded gems. At least they're gems in my book, in my collection. Number one is a 1948 Hannes Wagner. Now, it's beat the heck up. It's got wrinkles, it's got a little fold up there. I don't know what's going on there. I don't think it's paper loss. I think it's more like a, just a, a scrunch up, if you want to call it that. But if you look real close, the centering is pretty darn good. There's a crease right there, but it's a Hannes Wagner. Look, he's even got a little chewing tobacco spit on the back, I think. Got him a nice big chaw. This is one of my favorite cards. It'd probably grade real low, but I don't care. It's a Hannes Wagner, and it's a good card. Up next is 1962 Tops. Bob Euchre rookie card. Little ding here on the corner. Little indent right up in there. And unfortunately, if you can see right above Bob's head and below Ken's uh, chin, there's a line there and another thing over here by uh, old Doc Edwards. Printing things, I believe, but Again, the centering on this card is amazing. And unfortunately, the, the print mark goes on the Euchre square, but that's all right. I've always wanted one, never had one, so that's pretty cool. The back is pretty darn, I mean, that centering is pretty good on the back, too. Just a great centered card for as old as it is. Just a couple of little dings here and there and the print defect, but I like it. And then the next one we have is the 1972 John Riggins rookie card when he played with the Jets. Pretty sharp. Centering's a little off, but the corners are really sharp. Nothing real hectic on the... Uh, card itself the surface is really good back centering is off a little too but still looks well to me a little bit of stain right there but it's a nice little hidden gem in the collection then we have the Willie McCovey rookie trophy card and the centering on that is pretty good. It's coming out of the top loader a little bit. Nothing wrong with the base, although I do need to put it in a new uh, top loader probably. Little scratches on the thing. It makes it look like a wrinkle, but it's not a wrinkle. The back's pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get that in a new case. But it's a Willie McCovey trophy card, and that's pretty good. When I first came through the card, I thought this up here was scribbles with like a pen or something. It's not. It's in the netting and other parts of the stadium. So that had me worried when I first saw it as a kid. Then we have the 1965 Rookie Stars, Tony Perez. Again, real nice sharp corners. Little something going on right there. It just might be a fleck of something. But the centering's pretty darn good. And he's got top billing, which is good. Even though I didn't like the Reds. I did like him. He was a solid player. He was probably my favorite player on the Reds. Back looks nice and clean. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool card. Then we have the 1960 rookie star, newly Hall of Famer, Jim Cott, for the Washington Senators. Again, the centering's really good on that card couple print defects but nothing I can't live with and the back looks really nice too 
I like his scowl. Little corner hecticness up there, but that'll be all right. Then we have the Ron Say, John Hilton, Mike Schmidt rookie card. The corners are really nice. There's no wrinkles or anything like that in it, but there is, if you look, right about the third baseman, all the way down in here, some sort of weird stain. But it presents well, and uh, I had another one, but that gave that to a friend of mine. Uh, I like this one, even though his was in better corners and all that, and without the stain. Uh, I wanted to keep this one. Maybe his corners were a little rougher, but I wanted to keep this one. He enjoyed the card, so I'm happy with that. Then the back's pretty nice, other than the little trouble right here in the corner. Still a pretty clean looking card, even with the. Uh, uh, see, you can see it real good right there. Even with the stain, I'm happy with it. Then the last card I'm going to show you is a 1991 Upper Deck. Not really vintage, but it's getting there. Michael Jordan, Chicago White Sox rookie card. It's pretty well centered. I don't know how it would grade out. Everybody wants to check the logo. See, I think that's pretty well centered. Nice corners. I should grade it, but I probably won't. But yeah, those are just a few uh, little ungraded gems in my collection. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I got more. If you'd like to see more, let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know in the comment section what I could do better or what I could do worse. And uh, like and subscribe and uh, hopefully check out some more. All right. Thanks a lot.